hello I'm gonna show you a little bit of lot 12 on Hawthorne Road I'm looking down the street from where the lot is so you get the sense it's a really lovely quiet area uh, but really also very close to downtown and as you can see that little yellow sign there is the Bay to Bay trail system which is amazing um, so you can actually hit the trails very quickly so now looking up, the neighbors are sort of tucked away. Um, the lots have not all been sold in this area, which probably makes them a little bit more reasonably priced. But there is the corner lot. If you can see the two signs there, it is a quarter acre. Um, I haven't been able to locate the pins, so we're just going to have to have a walk around. And uh, should you be interested, um, you know, a engineer and surveyor can come up and really get a clearer view of where a well might be dug. The nice thing about this lot is that it is on town uh, sewage, so it would just be a dug or a drilled well that would be needed for this lot. It really is lovely, so it's on the corner. There's nothing needed as uh, far as it's not a three-way, it's a cul-de-sac. I'll drive you through it. Uh, after but this is a beautiful house just opposite and I'm turning around again to face this lot so just in wandering in there's a little bit of a um, slope here at the front so you'd probably want to make that your drive and do um, a home set back a little bit but your engineer will support any sort of um, help and support and decisions around that you know so that they can see where there's little water um, coming down or any of those points i'm just going to walk around the lot first so you get a sense of and as i say for being so close to you know the core of Mahone bay just a wander down um, I'll drive you down later so you can get a sense. It really is a, quite a peaceful and beautiful spot. So I can see a marker there. There's a, a setback because there is a ditch here that's been created. So the setback would allow for uh, where you'd be allowed to build there on. So I'm not sure I haven't, there's only two markers that I've been able to find and I've called the agent. She hasn't been able to direct me any further. So we're going to take these markers. So there's the setback there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, the blue marker in there. And I'm going to take you round and through a little bit. So I would think make a little driveway and find your best build area which an engineer could help with but I would assume you'd be able to keep some of the trees create some openness wherever you wanted it and also some privacy so this is so I'm just doing a little bit climbing up that little bank but here we are so it seems to level off around here. Um, so again, an engineer would support what would need to be cleared, where the best area would be for a build that would be able that we, well, I was in contact with and sent you some information from. So there we are. We've got some brush and wee trees and then there would be sorry, doing a little zigzagging as I bushwhack a bit but you know the trees a lot of the trees you know in in the middle seem to be younger trees so I'm looking down now I think it would be quite lovely really um, and then it looks I would think the, the natural spot would be where the lawns were created behind 
and the homes behind would be likely where their lots begin. Um, but as I say, I haven't been able to find the pins, so that would be determined with the help of Abel and uh, their engineering and their surveying. So that is the lot. And I think has lots of potential. Um, and really choosing your community is so key. And I have to say being close, like just a walk or a bike ride, but still feeling like you're, you know, outside of it all is quite lovely. Um, and yet just a hop, skip and a jump to downtown and, you know, all the beaches that surround this area and water frontage that you get to enjoy um, that way. So I'm just sort of, looks like it's almost like this natural little ledge here. If you can see, it's hard to show depth on a video, um, but I'm standing sort of at the top of a little ledge here almost and uh yeah really lovely so this is a cul-de-sac so i'm gonna drive you around this cul-de-sac on hawthorne next and this is that way is the way to the downtown core so next video coming <laughs>